Stop! That is stunning. Oh my actual life, what? <laughs> Hello, you beautiful people. Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Simpson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss any bonus videos like what today's is. So I do normally upload on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but today I'm doing a little trilogy. It started yesterday and this is going to be a little bonus video just so we can get all these videos up straight away for you. So if you watched yesterday's video, I tested the Crystal Aura Rose Quartz collection. It featured the beautiful Forever Flawless palette, the setting spray and the lip oil, which both have like crystals inside them, which is just stunning. So if you want to see yesterday's look and see what I thought of the palettes, then I will leave that linked down below. As you can tell by the thumbnail and the title, today we're going to be testing the Amethyst part of this collection. So there's three different parts, obviously Rose Quartz, Amethyst and then Adventurine, which is like green. So that'll be tomorrow's video. So make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss tomorrow's video and you get to see it as soon as it goes live. But like I said, today we're going to be testing this, which is to be fair, out of the three, the this palette in particular is the one that excites me the most. I cannot wait to get stuck in. So this is what it looks like. This is the Amethyst Fair Floss palette and I'm sorry, absolutely stunning. And I do have a 20% off discount code for Revolution's website. It's not affiliate, but it's loose 20 if you want to save any money off their website. It is now worldwide, which is so exciting so anyone can use it. But the palette retails for $11.99, the set and spray retails for $7.99 and then the lip oil is $4.99. So it says that Amethyst is meant to be the crystal that shields against negativity. It's meant to help with stress relief and bring good luck. So if you are somebody who's really into crystals, it's kind of having that combination of like a crystal, crystal inspired makeup collection. So the palette itself is inspired by like the colour story and then obviously the set and spray and the lip oil has actual crystals inside which is so bloody cool. I'm going to take some of the Revolution Creator Super Base Eye Primer. I absolutely love this. Like <laughs> if you've watched my videos you've noticed I actually reach for this now more than my P. Louise base which is insane when you think about it. So I'm going to start with the shade Stability first. I don't want to start with this one. No I'm going to start with Inspire first and I'm going to go with like a short stubby brush for this. This is a Spectrum a13 brush and I'm going to go in with that darkest shade. The only thing about my eyeballs, no matter what primer I use, I always have to tap them out before I go in because it just creases. Even when I use a sponge, like it nowhere near as creases as normal but everything still always creases and I'm just kind of concentrating that really in this out a bit and then across the lid just like so and then I'm going to go in with the girls with attitude brush which just looks like this and I'm going to go into that stability shade instead and I'm going to start packing that kind of on top of that darker colour and a little bit onto the base where there's no other shadow but then I'm also going to take this right through the crease as well it's been a long time since I've done a technique like this but I don't know why because it always blends so much easier when I do it like this but I want this look to be like quite intense in comparison to yesterday's video which was like more like light and ah oh, rose quartz cute I want this to be like amethyst and then I'm just going to take a clean brush this is just from the revolution and roxy collection but just any kind of shape brush like this it's like a nice small one and I'm just going to go around the edges of this purple and just blend I've just zoomed you in a little bit closer just in case that helps at all. I don't know why I had you so far away. <laughs> but I'm just blending that out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush. Just this one here, which is just like from a cheap brush set. And I'm going to go in with the shade Cleanse. I feel like we could have done with one more shade in between Stability and Cleanse. So that there was like a medium kind of colour instead of going straight into like the light purple like just really give it like a better kind of gradient then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back in with all the shades again and build back up the intensity because you can see how we've lost them a bit whilst we're kind of blending on top also i'd love to know what you think of my new series if you haven't seen it, it went live the first video went live on my channel last week and it's basically me going through all of my makeup collection i did like a full makeup collection tour for the first one so i went through everything that's in every single drawer 
um, and also went through kind of like my plans for decluttering and all that kind of good stuff. I was very open and honest about the state of my bedroom, which is always a problem for me because I'm just, just such a messy person. So we're going through like a full series together of kind of sorting out my beauty room, reorganising it and just making it nice and beautiful again. Because of the trilogy this week, there's not going to be a video from that series. So we will be waiting for next week's video. I've actually started decluttering some of my drawers. So that's going to be a whole bunch of videos for us to go through. Okay, so now that I'm kind of happy with the blend, I might do a bit more blending afterwards, but we'll see. I want to go in with some shimmer because there's, oh my God, there's so many cool like shimmery shades in here. I don't even know which one to go for. I really want to go for sincerity. sincerity? since since sincerity since oh, i can't pronounce that i don't know but that's what i want to go in with anyway that's like oh really really soft as well it's like a bit more like a marbled kind of shade and then we've got balance and i'll do a bit of spiritual and then chakras and we also have peace in here but <gasps> this is one that i'm definitely going to go in with which is the since since i can't pronounce it <laughs> stop that is stunning on oh my actual life what i'm gonna go with a little bit of the other one what's that one called balin so it's like a de definitely like a different kind of formula my favorite is that sincere sincerity i can't even pronounce it but that's my favorite i think it's because it's got like some glitter and like different reflect in it as well so i'm just going back in with a little bit of inspire which was like that really really dark bluey purpley shade. I'm just going to go back over the lash line ever so slightly. I've actually just very slightly changed the shape of it and just ever so slightly just winged it out just a little bit just because sometimes I find if I do like a rounded kind of eye, that's nice, if I do like a rounded eye I'm just kind of thinning that up a little bit, there we go, that's better. Yeah, but I do like a rounded eye. Sometimes it makes, because of the shape of my eye, sometimes it makes my eye kind of like drop and look a bit like sagging. So before I put the rest of my face on, I'm going to try the lip oil so I can get my lips nice and plump whilst I'm doing the rest of my makeup. So this one is meant to have like a soft kind of like lavender scent to it. I would definitely agree with that. I wouldn't say like, I think the rose quartz one was a lot more overpowering than this. It smells really nice, but you have to like, to be able to smell it if that makes sense, which I prefer, especially because I don't really like the smell of lavender, but this smells nice. And then let's pop some, okay, more comes out straight away on this one in comparison to the rose quartz one, which is really good. I feel like this one's like a lot more glossy than the other one as well. Okay, this so far out of the two that I've tried, this is definitely my favorite. If you aren't one for like really scented things, like overpowering, like I can't really smell this now that it's on, whereas the rose quartz one like lingered for quite a bit. So yeah, so far, really, really, really nice. And I was just reading the description just to give you a bit of information about the lip oil and the setting spray. So it says the lip oil is also infused with hyaluronic acid, which obviously is really good to have like dry, dehydrated lips. So if you just want plump lips, it's really good for that. It also has raspberry seed oil in it as well, which is designed to nourish and condition your lips with a clear high shine formula, which makes sense because when you put it on, it was like super, super shiny. Um, it also obviously has the purple crystals inside and a relaxing lavender aroma, which I really, really like. Then we have obviously the setting spray. So it says set and refresh with this illuminating fixing spray which is infused with real crystals containing another hyaluronic acid to hydrate the skin with a calming lavender scent so let's see what this is like because it says illuminating so this is what my skin looks like before so let's see whether it is illuminating okay it has like a very 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 subtle lavender scent Again, if you are somebody who's not massively into scent, I do feel like this is gonna be the best one out of the two from like the rose quartz one yesterday. Um, but we'll see what the Eventuine one like is like tomorrow. That one's meant to be like cucumber scented, so that would be like nice and refreshing. So I think if you're not really into like lavender rose quartz, then Aventurine, I don't know if that's how you say that, but that'll be the best one for you because it's meant to be like a cucumber scent. But we'll have a sniff of that tomorrow in tomorrow's video and see what the vibe is. So this is my skin. Oh yeah, it has given illuminated. Look to it. Wow. I feel like it's just giving me like a bit of, I don't know, like life and plumpness back into my skin. I think if you are somebody with really, really oily skin, you may not like this. Um, 
it depends, I don't know, because sometimes, obviously I have oily skin, but sometimes because I put so much powder on, I need that on to keep me in place, but then it's also nice to go in with something as like a setting spray for afterwards to add that plumpness back in without me looking so flat, but we're still having all that powder on to keep everything in place. I think Kylie, if you're watching this, you're gonna absolutely love it. I feel like it's kind of like giving me dewiness, but it has given me a little bit in the middle of my forehead, but everywhere else that it's given me like extra dewiness is actually where I put highlighter. So I think if you are somebody who is kind of combination oily skin like me, that's something to bear in mind. It actually seems to really illuminate the areas that you already had highlighted, which is so clever. And it could just be that it makes it more illuminated because it already has like a shiny base from the highlighter on it, but it shows that you can actually have the best of both worlds with this and I just love the fact that it's not got an overpowering smell although the rose quartz setting spray wasn't um, overpowering yesterday that was kind of a soft smell it was lip oil that was quite overpowering but yeah I'm really really impressed by that so for my lip I'm just take off the remainder of this lip oil I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise Loyal lip liner which is like a dark kind of chocolatey kind of colour I personally don't really like kind of twisty up lip liners as much as what I like pencil ones because I feel like they're just a bit harder to get a sharper line but it still looks nice it just takes a little bit longer and what I will say I know this I'm gonna put lipstick on in a second what I will say as well if you've got like a little bit of a tash like there's a little bit of fuzz it's even harder to get a sharper line because it it doesn't half humble you when you start putting it on you're like mm. It's uh, not as smooth as what it can be because of my little mustache. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to go in with a lipstick. This is the Cookie Door lipstick, like one of their chocolate lipsticks from I Heart Revolution. I never really reach this that often. I thought I'd give it a go. Oh my God, so I wasn't expecting to be as dark as this. Definitely put too much lip liner on, but I'm still feeling it. Yeah, I'm really, really feeling it. It's giving me like purple Kim... Kim Impossible vibes, but I really like it. Such a vibe, such a vibe. Okay, but I want to gloss it up, so I'm going to use the roller baller, but obviously I don't want to make this all icky, so I'm going to actually put some on the back of my hand. Okay, it's actually a lot harder to do this than <laughs> I thought it was going to be. Like getting it on the back of my hand, I mean. I'm just going to put it on and just say YOLO. It's actually really nice, and because it hasn't moved too much, it hasn't like completely ruined the inside. I'm just gonna kind of wipe it. Yeah, cleaned it. Buzzing. <laughs> so yeah, that is the finished look. I would absolutely love to know what you think down below. I honestly can cannot get over that setting spray and how it just gave me like a bit more glow to my face. Wow, okay, let's do a little quick product roundup. So as for the actual palette, I honestly think it's the best one out of all three of them. Um, maybe because I'm an absolute sucker for purple. I love it so much. But yeah, I think this is absolutely stunning. You know, I love Forever Flawless palettes anyway. I have a full Forever Flawless palette drawer. Um, I'll leave it linked down below if you want to see all my Forever Flawless palettes in my full collection. Um, if you are just nosy of my whole makeup collection in general, I did do a video last week showing my full makeup collection and starting a new series of starting out my beauty room with me. So I'll leave that link down below as well. But yeah, as for the setting spray as well, I loved this so much. I loved the little bit of glow that it gave my skin. I just think it's stunning. And the lip oil is beautiful. I think it's so much nicer than the rose quartz one. I absolutely love this collection. Um, definitely my favourite out of the two so far. And I'll see you tomorrow for the Adventure Rhyme one. If you're watching this kind of like way after the launch date in April, then it'll already be up on my channel. Go check it out. Just type in Crystal Aura Loose Stevenson on YouTube and it'll all come up. Um, if not, if you're watching this on the day that I put it live, I will see you tomorrow for the Adventure Rhyme green one. And yeah, I'm really excited. I'm loving having like loads of videos for one collection again it's been a while since i've done this but yeah i love you so much and i'll hopefully see you in tomorrow's video or in a video very, very soon love you bye